God, I want to some people. Where, 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 Make a read fast, fast, you know, man. Make a read fast, fast before Ruta come in. Take this one is from... Take I can't take me time. All right. All right. Ruta said, we can't take me time. I see Ruta with a deal with the thing, you know, man. We need to stop confusing religion and spirituality. This is the, the, the teachings of His Majesty. We need to stop confusing religion and spirituality. Religion is a set of laws, regulations, and rituals by men, thus supposed to help men develop... A, a spirituality due to the flaw even human religion is corrupt is politicized divided and became a tool in the struggle for power spirituality is not theology or ideology it is simply a way of life pure and original given to us by the creator spirituality is a web that connects us amongst ourselves the most high and the universe oh, all right we could, we could just close out now see guys route already and our four minutes after two o'clock Closing with his brand new one, The Man, The Seeds, and The Land, Rastakura, featuring Muta Baruka. The science of agriculture, the land, the seeds, and the man. Agricultural supply man. The man. They have represented me with the first image. Father, have mercy upon the grandson. I, I Look at my I, grandson. I, Lord, I have mercy. I have mercy. You're going the other way. Ah oh, man, two years to this, you know, just the far right, I worry, you know, I'm on two years right, to the far right, man. Grand Mushetti from Muta Baruka. And Muta is in Ghana, Africa. And we're here on the cutting edge. Ruta in from Muta Baruka. 
You know what's here, you know? Lyrics like a bazooka. And this is the Stepping Razor. And of course, you listen to the Stepping Razor. Peter Touch, the man who come from Westmoreland, like myself. You know what's ironic about this? As I said, big up to Samantha. Always by my side. Now I ride without her in a dread. Royal Cousin, you there? The motor call you again, man. Brian! You there, Brian? Yeah, man. Respect to my friend Chokey Taylor. Long time when I see Chokey and Chokey all the past. You there to Chokey? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We live and direct, man. You know what's ironic about this Peter Touch song I just played a while ago? That's what your friends will do. I want a good, good virgin, you know. Long time virgin. Teach me that song there, you know. And you know some man and virgin again. Yeah, no. You know, kind of, you know, you know, virgin and virgin and time pass and little thing go down and you know, to, to, to link one. But my big up Clive Jones, you know. You know Clive Jones, you know. Belmont. Peter Touch, you know Clive? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, Peter Touch Bridge, I'm an original soldier. I mean, I mean, I know most of Peter Touch songs, I mean, I know to you know, life Rasta. So, good afternoon, Jamaica and the world. This is the Stepping Razor. So, Mouta Baruch are not around, so. <laughs> Babylon feels that you Mouta and everything all right. This is even more serious, you know, in a Babylon. The clocks, me are here. <laughs> and I see the regular clocks that we have on in idea in Babylon. I tell you, so this is what you call desert clocks. You say, I want to Babylon, you have a different color from the bottom. You know? <laughs> when Rasta step in, it's a different color you're going to look like when Rasta step out. You know? That me I tell you, so Jamaica now, what a place, man. We're nice little like island. Looking for some rain right now because rain could have fallen from now to die kingdom come. I'm going to tell you, so the reservoir them not full up. I don't say not one of them spokesmen. I don't know where Babylon finds a spokesman then, but every time something happens, I always want a spokesman come up in there. But he might always have some sweet things to say in Rasta. Like, if he's supposed to be supposed to all right, you know, like anytime any road problem going in double A, I have a bridge, you know, he's up in there. When he's coming, you know, man. When he's done talk, I'll when you see a big old patrol in there, I look funny and I say, no, say, so look like a fix. He <laughs> <laughs> convince you. Yeah, and I see him want to commission and everything like that. JPS. No matter what JPS do to you, if I see a white lady come come talk to you. And she goes, 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 she Bert Samuels, you must hear the name there already, and he's not an easy man, you know. So what we're going to talk to is Bert Samuels, but we get in that trouble and we need a liar. <laughs> no, sir. And I really that, you know, give thanks to John Rastafari. What really happened is that we want to ask him, with JPS now limiting the supply of power to communities with high levels of electricity theft, is it legal? Can we, can we go sue JPS like or JPS turn off and the granny light up, sir? Can we go sue JPS? So we're going to ask him that. Then we're going to talk to a, a gentleman called Lloyd D. Aguilar. Lloyd is from the Tivoli Committee. And it's going to be four years now, Sammy, four years now since the incursion in Tivoli. And it happened close to my birthday down in Amir. Now about them time, then I'll find president. I don't know time, president of Ali Wig in a move. Now about them time, yeah? man, Mr. Al Milan, the whole drama started about this time four years ago. So we'll talk to him about what Tivoli is going to do four years after and where they are now. I think they have a protest march coming up. Mm-hmm. And this is May 27th, they're going to march? Okay. They will march in. So we'll talk to Mr. Lloyd D. Aguilar at about 3.30. And then, Jano, I tell you, we were cousin called me last night and shot me, man. I tell you, man. The only thing a man could have called and tell me could have hurt me more than that a man tell me. Say, you know something, just say. You know something, teach your wife. I found out I wouldn't shot, sir. Royal cousin called and say, no, you are going on, sir. I said, what happened, royal cousin? The man say, you put a bone down. He ran Mushet International Airport, man. See one way called Sangsters, man. You yeah, catch a fire part of it last night. So we're going to talk to Elizabeth Cotton. Is that the name, Sammy? Yeah, Elizabeth Cotton, Miss Elizabeth Cotton, is Chief Commercial Officer at MBJ Limited. We're going to ask her what happened down there and, you know what I mean? If they think it's arson. <laughs> God, I forget to I find out what's going on with this airport fire. Yes. It's 2.32 p.m., 2.32 in the afternoon. Ruta in for Muta Baruka. Muta is in Gambia. You know, Muta is a regular visitor to Mama Africa. And where he is right now, just want to say big up Muta Baruka. And it's a real pleasure being here on the stepping razor for Muta. You know, once me come around, you know, you know it's not an easy thing, you know. So here's what's going on on the island right now, because I whole heap of news, you know. SSP Forbes. Yes, the policeman there and the bribery thing with uh, Bruce Bignall, the man from Tankwell with the police, where, you know, they said the police tapped them out on the road and the man gave him a paper with some money in there and Mr. Forbes and one whole thing. But anyway, the case has now come to an end. And the judge said, Mr. Forbes, 
800,000 Jamaican are six months in prison. And Mr. Fabs have a far out to 800,000 right up by courthouse then. And that's a courthouse work. Yeah, at the corporate area magistrate's court. So, a short while ago. So, how this work now, Chucky? If you, you must go get the 800 grand in a day, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm presented to. Jano. Yeah, it's kind of strange, though. With all of this debt said and done in here, you see how me look at this now as a youth, you know. Babylon get back 800,000, yeah. Can Mr. Fabs work? You go back straight back in I kitty. Circle, you know, straight back around, you know. You know, Mr. Forbes get P.O.T.I.T. <laughs> After. You know what I mean? So the judge is saying to Mr. Forbes, that is a very serious thing, and uh, he had the option, uh, is a she? Oh, Magistrate Stephanie Jackson Hazley. Okay, yes. Uh, resident Magistrate. So, uh, the judge, I was saying to him that uh, she had the option of imposing a fine or sentence him to, f- what, three years in prison? Mr. Fabs couldn't take that one. Mr. Fabs, no man don't have that much flesh in hand. You can imagine how much weight he lose since this case I got. Then for the lady said to him, three years. That's how we drop down. 800,000. Mr. Fabs will find that, man. But we don't know what his future will be in the JCF now, after this now, because we don't know. If we don't know if Babylon will give back at work. We don't know how to go on, you know. It's what's that? But, well, I, I guess this will maybe lose in pension and all these things. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Fabs. Still young and strong, you know, Mr. Fabs. You know, enough people left out of police force and got tired all in one security company. Yeah, I hope I think they can go to Mr. Fabs. You know, can you do something? Oh, Mr. Mark Shields. Well, well, sorry, we don't, we, we don't know. Mr. Fabs, go eat your food, yeah, man, and the Lord go with you, because we cannot come. Have mercy, look at my grandson. Look at my grandson. Lord, have mercy. You're going the other way. No, man, two years to this, no, Jarastafari, I war, you know. I'm on two Jarastafari, man. This is the step in Razor, Ran Mushet in for Muta Baruka. Yeah, the time is 2.38 in the afternoon. Big up all the people and they work right now. And when we say they are work, I mean a day of work. Because one thing, you see, one thing with Jamaicans, you know, but a lot of people probably afraid to tell Jamaicans. You see, we as Jamaican workers, we could make a whole lot more money, you know, And Jamaica could have moved forward faster, you know, if when we left we are in the morning and say we are going to work. We really go to work. And really work, we go and say we go to work, you know. Half of the time when a Jamaican claims that we go to work, you know. Tell me if I lie, me I tell no people. A half work we go, you know. Because, all right, a man leave and he go to work now. Same if he start work, nine o'clock. See? And he reach at work, nine o'clock. And nine o'clock, he did a kneel around, little bit, he move around, move around, he do a little thing, and before he know it, he phone ring. And he make a call, and probably I do only one business, a call, you know what I mean? Do this, that, and then, before he know it, he may fret on lunchtime, and... He do, do all a million different things. Then somebody can check him out a gate. Uh, and he's not putting the real work yet, you know. How about the time if he's second and I start the little work, he start watching time and say, watch, how much o'clock now? Five o'clock, he may wait for him. You know? Yeah, so as Jamaicans know, they often say that we Jamaicans, we take one hour to do a job. Every side will take five minutes and lick off and gone. Move to something else. Can I guess what we do now? Waste it's just like you carry your car, go to a garage in a Jamaica. You drive up by a garage. Since <laughs> you reach up there now. You're not a Jamaican mechanic. Jamaica, we have to change your ways, you know. Yeah, man, we have a, we, we a kind of... You know, it's my mother now. My mother, my mother talk a different language, you know. Everything my mother have to put dirty upon, you know. So if my, my mother would have said, we, we have a dirty attitude towards work. You know, man? So, it's like you bring your car to a mechanic in a Jamaica. This is you drive up in a garage. A garage not that full, you know. And you drive up. Then my car roll like I also may I also on the road now as a taxi man, you know. Pull in. It's a greasy. Come in, I come check what I go on here. You know, in a car, come see what I go on, you know. And greasy, he will come down, you make a little one look on him, grow a little bit on him, gone over this one, him gone cross. It's done, didn't the man care already, you know. And grow, and before you know, we waste all two hours there. For greasy, just tell me, say, battery wire drop off. We have to do better than that, man, because if we work more efficiently, and move faster with the time. We can make a lot more, you know. Yeah, man. Because sometimes we are up on a place, and say, for example, we work at a place now where a furniture we make, you know. The time we waste, I make one set, you know, I can make a ten set, you know. That is why you are going with the world now. A machine, I eat with food now, you know. Because certain places, I want to see no man at all in the narrow one, you know, more than, more than one or two for pressing buttons, you say, on, off. They don't want you. Right now, machines are replaced human, and that's where the world are going right now. Because I will, remember, I say lazy, dirty attitude towards work, man. 
because look how we just mill around and do things right now. Yeah, machine work, machine on time, machine on take no call, machine on gone a bathroom, <laughs> every minute machine on sick sick. <laughs> you know, we see how we value of the production time on. And that is the thing. And sometimes it's like when you have a work to do as a Jamaican, you take forever and you mill around and you come around and you come around, get it over with no one done now, man. You understand? And you take a little break for lunch, you just wax off your food and move. My virgin eyes are telling me how oh, 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 Chinese man and Japanese work, you know. You see, I'll miss a tune and he wake up a morning time. Same for Richard work, 6 o'clock. You see, when he rise from 5, he ready more time, you know, saying that to up on the bed. He just rise and doing things and cut. Work. And it's when he reaches and take up your little something. Work him and work, you know. Non stop, you know, man. When Mr. Chin take a break at lunchtime and he just walks off one little piece of pork sandwich or whatever he might eat and him bop again, you know, straight to leave, you know. So he left us up. Gang and beats only kind of. When he reaching out one, two o'clock, he's junk, you know. But you see, by five, you up again, you know. Work. Yeah, man, you want to work, man. So when you look on your economy versus theme economy, you remember, you remember you know, first world, <laughs> where you there? Third world. Because when him there work and start working, you know, man, you still asleep, you know, and a quarrel and a fling down all alarm, you know. No, I'm going to work. And when you do reach at work, you have too much things to do. You have some workplace in that world, you have some strict measures right now. If you go there, you have to drop all your phone outside, like I must say, you know. Because you're not wasting no time for the people them work. Here, you know, oh, I see everything I bring in, per man. So the man just send one and just buy one machine. <laughs> you understand, Jano? There's a virgin that I really have a lot of respect for, you know. Yeah. A man called yeah. Glenn Brownie. Glenn Brownie. Every time I see Glenn Brownie, Glenn Brownie always a complain. Because Glenn has around me produce so many good tunes. And sometimes I just, you alone give me a strength, you know. If you see my foreign right now at the airport, I must say, yeah, no, Ron. If I could have just get like, can we produce good tune, you know? And I'm, yeah, because we've really been playing a lot of songs produced by Glenn Brownie for his Island Treasure label for a while. But you see this youth, Jeremy, what's his name? Jeremy. Jeremy and Blake. Glenn sent me an email the other day and said, Ron, you see this youth and this, this song here. Why you help me with him? Can you see him? Gone, you know. And it's when Glenn Brownie tells him gone. Huh. Listen, this youth. This is what? the step in. Yeah. Razor. Yeah. The man says when you're poor, especially on a little island, it's like you're a prisoner. The man says when you're poor, it's like a crime. Like you're a prisoner what? lock up doing time. Yeah. yeah. Let's keep it up, you know, that means work. Put him in hard work. Dear God in heaven, forgive me. Jermaine, Jermaine Blake. Yeah, we're going to play it again because it's headline news time. It's 2.45. IRFM, this is the Stepping Razor. Brian. And I ran about the other... Brian, listen to me now, man. And I'm out of this and I wrote that. Mr. Adnan, that's if you press you. Wrong button. You see, now tell him... Press. Yes, it's 2.53 p.m. and this is the Stepping Razor. Ran Moshet Ruta Baruka. In for Muta Baruka. And Muta is in Gambia right now. Well, he's going to be going to a few countries in Africa. We're hoping today that we'll get a chance to talk to Muta and the Stepping Razor. We're stepping. We're stepping. We're stepping. So Marlon King, football man there again, Ghana. Prison of 18 months for some motor vehicle accident. So I know, quite unfortunate. Man, I drive and eating ice cream. And Porsche. Carry too fast, yet ice cream in a road boy. Yeah, man, too fast, man. Porsche. Yeah, I know not easy in a Porsche. I don't even say my cruising. Because if you're cruising, it wouldn't be so such a tragic accident. You know what I mean? Or such, you know, leaving in, with such damage and all of that, you know? Yeah, respect to Mr. D. Mr. D, I was telling me, you know, when you're driving, you know, if you drive at a speed that you can't control the vehicle, that if you do crash, crash and go, man. Then crash, then crash, they're good crash, you know? Yeah, man, the man said, yo, you know, you said so-and-so crash. And the man said, where in there, man, so up in yard, man? Can I mash up, don't put you up in yard, you know? Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, if you drive the vehicle at a nice control of the speed, even though them car make out of plastic nowadays, or some simple little tinning looking thing like cheese tin material, but they, you know, drive them reasonably fairly on the road, man, you know, controllable speed. No matter go where you can't control it, and next thing you know, you go here, say. Because there's a difference between accident and crash, you know? Accident and something you can't avoid. Like you drive like names of man and tree, just boom, drop in your van. Accident. But when you are driving over to Kala line of traffic and boom ahead out in that trailer, that's a crash. That's not an accident. We go tell the man you're in an accident. So how the accident come in you now? The, the trailer accidentally just hop. It just come in front of you on the opposite side of the road. Uh, not like that. Not. 
55. Drive what? carefully on the road and yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 And our tourists, our visitors to Jamaica. Hey, man. My lady, remember, drive on the left here. Yeah? Because tourists love to keep on the right hand side like in the America, you know. My, <laughs> my lady, yo, man, drive on the left here. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. Okay? What? All right. Yeah. Yeah. So we, don't, we don't want you on the right because that wouldn't be right. Yeah, you know? In heaven, forgive me. I'm in the air. Come in, honey, come in, honey, come in, honey, come in the air. Yes, the old song, good, produced by the great Glenn Browning. Glenn, Sir Glenn, pick up yourself, Sir Glenn Browning. And your island treasure label. His name is Jermaine Blake. You're like, you and Blake? Is you and Blake of me? This is a step in razor. I want to talk about JPS and uh, JPS's action the other day where some heroes were, you know, they say some of our brothers and sisters are teeth like. Hey, J- hey we know easy, you know, man. How we learn so we put a teeth like that stuff? I'm not afraid of shock. Um, he's a man for, hey, right now JPS cut off my lights, you know, and even if, like what I say in Jamaica, I definitely, definitely attempt you. I will never come and say, yo, right? Yo, who cut that? Me, me free <laughs> Now, what we understand, because you see poverty is not an easy thing. You know? that, that go back to the argument of hard work again, you know. Because we, we have to know how to work for what we want, you know. Yeah, man, and then we have to learn to make sacrifices. So, most of us you meet here in Jamaica, most of us you meet on the island. Now, band comes in, you know, man, band poor, you know, man. That's why you see the mayor of St. Thomas of Christ the last night on the TV, you know. Because, man, I say, no band comes in nothing in our life, you know, man. I work and, you know, see this crowning moment where I become a mayor now. Man, say, man, if you cry, man. So, we know. As island people, African people, African original people, you know, African descendants down the line, and some of you descended from, you know, maybe different races, Asians, and, you know, we are one nice, happy melting pot with a whole kaleidoscope. But we look colorful down in place, man. Nice Jamaica. The thing is, I don't know. You know, we, we, we don't understand how we really love each other and look out for each other in a certain way. And as Jamaicans now, some things that we're doing uh, can't stop enough you know, about electricity and JPS because around the world, it's not a really want to take up everything with foreign. I do still, you know, but you see, in foreign, they have what we call accountability in certain places around the world. Like, where's a foreign America with me? You know, for the man said, Yo, man, you can't do that in foreign. And in England, I'm attacking you know, America, you know, which have our own problems to and our own rare and tete. But certain things can happen there because if, even if some people are teeth light, say in uh, Brooklyn, and a man go lock off all a man who not teeth no light, light. He knew him I go sue him. Uh. Yeah, he knew him I go run, he must go pay some big money. So Mr. Samuels now is an attorney at law because in a Babylon, you can't do anything you have to find lawyer. You know? So a game play. So we decided to find a lawyer. So this is a step in raise a lawyer, Sammy. So we have him, we have him, you have him retained, I think. Yeah, yeah Mr. Mr. Samuels got a big lawyer, we are retained, you know, in services, you know. Mr. Samuel, <laughs> sir. good afternoon, sir. Uh, good to be with you on all this, sir. Yes, sir. This is a step in razor. Okay, fine. Yes, man. Uh, Muta is in Gambia right now, but Ruta is in here, so you're you all right. You're all right, Mr. Bert. Fine, my brother. Yes, sir. So, Mr. Samuels, tell me now, because we're trying to explain to Jamaicans that these things couldn't really go on in other places around the world, you know. We understand, say, any form of stealing, any form of thief in his run. I want to support yeah. teeth in in nowhere. Whether you got teeth on bag juice, or you got teeth light, or you got a teeth a car. It's the same thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whether, whether you, even JPS are teeth with his wrong thing. You know? But yeah. JPS says that uh, a lot of people in, a, in certain areas of Jamaica are teeth in electricity. And as you know what happened, what transpired after, they start That's a system right. where they just yeah. lock off the power on everybody for the whole day, or half of the day, or yeah. for whatever time. I, is this legal? Well, it's not legal. I mean, it's a man's rest, you know, in some families when uh, someone, you know, break a glass, uh, parents come home and everybody gets beaten. So, but it is a beat everybody for those who are stealing. Um, in contract law, that's a deliberate breach of the contract of the persons who are paying. Right. And therefore, it is self regularize you know what I mean because every person you see in life you know no matter how you see we don't in high school and look like say we not now go on you know we have potential something in you you know if you ever know in you right now you run for yourself you know something in you man that can take you from the next from this level to the next level but you have to believe 
and push, man, and learn from the people that go ahead of you and learn and associate, associate yourself with some people who can make a little thing go on for you, man. And you put in the hard work. And, you know, you can smart. There's so many different ways you can get out of this poverty thing, you know. You understand? And even people, yeah, right now, one of the, the ways that a lot of people that you probably are looking for uptown, basically, they don't do much work, you know. They find ways of making their money work for them. They money depends on different level of thinking, you know. So while me and you think, don't say, boy, I'm going to look at the work, I'm going to buy a supermarket, you know. You see, rich man, I'm up to them, I play one money game there where you need to know that game there, you know. That game there need investment, stocks and bonds. I saw them, boy, they had food up to them. I saw we have to get to 14 in Jamaica because you are going now. We can't make a train left way. So you have to learn how them things are work. You understand? So that is why we depend on our children. You know? That's why we spend so much money and send them a good school. So go learn the thing and come teach papa. Teach uncle. Teach auntie. Each one teach one. Because the people who have the power, they now go tell you what to do to get the power. You know? They just want you to just come and work every day and say, Hey boy! Hey, come, 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 come. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, you don't get a kid up yourself, you must be a trick. Stocks and bonds. You know? You're up on the New York Stock Exchange. You know? When you come in the office, you let them come to you. That's the way This is the stepping razor. And these brethren come from Montego Bay and we call them Ija Mix. I say it's so hot, you yeah, know. Yeah, we expect little rain from the island, you know. Yes, Jamaica, we have to move forward. We have to move forward as a people. And it all starts right up here in your head. Like a rest man say, your head top. Much smarter and better than the laptop. You know what I think about that? Your head top. Better than the laptop, you know. Sometimes the laptop just move faster through the age of tech, you know. You know what I mean? You know, you get a little oldish, but you can't beat this here, man. Moving forward. It's 12 minutes past 3. Next, we're going to talk to Mr. Lloyd De Aguilar. He's from the Tivoli Committee. And, you know, say it's been four years now since the Tivoli incursion and a protest for justice. People, them still a march, because they still don't know where I go on. That's exactly what's going on. But on the point of getting yourself out of poverty, Jamaica, and even with the JPS point, you know, because we're not leave that, you know. See, now, there are a lot of people that are thinking ahead, especially with climate change and global warming. If you notice, enough business places, you know, even um, a school at town the other day, um, the end of the Angel or Holy Trinity School, or one of them school there, gone totally solar, you know. You know, say, I'll miss a boot down a, cost up, down a pet come beside the RFM. Yes, man. Enough people go with JPS, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, set up a little solar. And your companies now, I think, all ATL and people give you a little loan, you know. We trust you all the things, you know. And you take a little time and pay for it. And even some financial institutions in Jamaica. You can go down there, man, and go talk to your banker. And say, listen, if you understand, you know, me run my shit, and say, you know, we can get a little loan for set up a little solar thing, you know. Yeah, man, and set up your thing, man. Because you have to, be, you see, there's a problem in any way. What do you do with the problem? You have to find a way. If you can, if you can get over it, you try to get around it, and uh, but you have to get, you have to pass that and move on. So, JPS has been a problem in Jamaica for many years. Long time. Long before I so much man had come out and said, thief light. JPS is a problem. Because the way the people that deal with you wicked, you know, man. When you get all the light bill, you know, you wonder if I hear light bill that, you know, or if you and your friends, they might charge you for. So we have to find a way to get around them people eh? Somewhere, somehow. All right? Next thing now. I'm going to tell you, move towards the solar thing there. Eh? Move towards the solar thing there. Eh? And you see right now, you know where we are now? May 15. You said the time hot? Even though it look rain and trickle trickle about the place every now and again. You said the time hot, people. Hurricane season starting you know, next month. You know, and that go all the way till November, you know. Hurricane season. So a good time now for try because if you can trust a little generator. Cause you know the, you know them people are stay if all one if you all hear some storm come all if you pass around Cuba side, them and a light pole blow down, you know. And then they come back and charge you say so they want a recovery fee and what you know them you know them work. Start set up a little thing from now, man. I make sure a little place back now and set a thing from now. Hurricane season has come up in a June. And you know, say from June to November. You know that, right? Good. So, that is how we are dealing with the JPS thing. And my brothers and my sisters, hear me now, man. Don't suffer the embarrassment for doing a court house and doing a jail house because what? For your teeth light. Find a way, man. Go around the light, man. 
But none of them things that still work again, you know. But you see, when me a youth, I grow a white house. Me a tell you, you see, white house down in Westmoreland is a place full of love, you know. Long time in a go, you know. But I went Saturday, my mother birthday, you know, so you don't know how that, yeah, Mama Patsy, you know, so the mother step up in a age, you know. Yeah, so, but White House, nice place. You see, the first time I was a little youth, I grew up, you know, no, my mother live right here, and we neighbor named Auntie Peggy. Here they live now, as two neighbors. They, they man, blood relative, you know, just two little young girls start out life, you know, and then just get two houses next to each other and start life, you know. So here they used to live now. Car remember, say, we're not rich, you know. So sometimes light bill comes, sometimes mama can't pay. Sometimes mama can't pay. Sometimes Auntie Peggy can't pay. Sometimes Auntie Peggy can't pay. So every now and again, one of them light cut off. Yeah, man, we used to find a little way we used to stretch our wire. <laughs> yes, man. Stretch our wire, go over Auntie Peggy. Auntie Peggy plug in her wall and we plug in her socket and we get light. Yes, man. You just know, so when Auntie Peggy light bill come, you send over one, two grand go over there. How no teeth we are teeth light? Extension. A extension. Yes, a friendship. You see me? So come on, man. I'm going to cut out the teeth in lighting. Come in, I really want to look and come a morning time. I'll take up the observer. I'm going to look missing. The Jamaican people, 1,250 arrested for teeth in light. Come on, man. We must get under something better than that. We're smarter than that, man. We're going to open up the phone lines, you know. So if you want to call in, I say step in, you know, and express your views. You know the numbers. 974-5051, 974-5079. 974-5043-618-0352. Step in Razor. Move on the day in Babylon and start key party for the last week. See in Babylon here, say, hey, I ran my shit, I got work for you, Muta, you know. <laughs> See the man who sent back all the drinks, let me know, Jed. <laughs> Babylon said, Lord of mercy, man. I know we mash up with them. Because they know me not easy with them. You know? So, JPS, we have to find a way to go around them. Big man thing. And... As Jamaicans now, we have to step up the work thing. We have to be more efficient at our work. When we go to work, we have to put in the work. We spend so much time doing other things than work. Put in your work. And find a way now, when you have a little money, to find a way to make the money work for you. You can't just have your work, a little money, and then away your money, and go make it work. You know what I mean? Turn it, invest it. Enough of we live a country and we have all whole people and we don't get poor and stuff. You know? Grandpa, I'm living on all five acres and grandpa don't get stuff. You know? Grandpa, bring in the grandchildren and invest, man. Lease a piece of the land, you know what I mean? I, you know, set up a nice little apartment complex or something, man. Make a little factory over there or something, man. Use up the land, plant it up, grandpa. In a very little time, ganja got sweet, you know. I used to fight ganja, can't plant up ganja now, you know. Very soon, I mean, answer no, because I mean, body say, you do it. Not now, when Babylon decides, say, then come to their senses then, you know what I mean? But invest, man, you know what I mean? Turn things over on the island, man. You know, start believing more in ourselves. And as Jamaicans, you know what I mean? Support one another, man. Yeah, man, support with little shop and with little, you know, support with little thing and keep a thing turning, man. And start more Jamaican industries and company. We see too much foreign drinks on the island, Rasta. Too much foreign drinks. Me will drink foreign drinks when me go to foreign. I mean, I say, so, yeah, listen, uh, I, I don't want no big economists and no bright boy that run off them more. But I want to chat foolishness. Listen, I mean, it's a global economy. Everything and the trading and everything just like an open marketplace for the world. We understand that. You know what I mean? But everywhere you go, people must rule their territory. Yeah, there's a lot of trading have to go on in the world. We have to trade with other countries. And they would like to get their products into as well. Yeah, sure. But, hey, if you don't buy them a lot, they don't have to send them a lot. I don't say Coca-Cola can't send in Coke them come, but he can probably send 10 cases less because we're going to buy juice from the blocks because blocks start making some juice named Sour Supper and we rate that. And we support our industry. You know what I mean? And support the Jamaicans and Jamaicans again. So when we make things, put on good label for them and make the things them look good. And stop telling me I go buy our roots. I mean, come on Rasta, put on some better thing for the thing, man. And give me some facts. You know, go for a scientific counselor or get the thing. Step in. Father, where the man is, man? Where I go down? Everything I go up in a rasta, because we don't go down to nowhere in a Babylon. You know? yeah, ask King Tubbies, man. King, T- King Tubbies? Yeah, we have to see you there, you know. Up at Chilani, man. They don't have to wake up yeah, in a we, week's field. No, we have to see St. Catherine, man. Oh, St. Catherine, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, yeah I went a little brother the last time for the season. The team had a one for nine. Where we are they going for a ball, ball, come on? Oh, well, no, man, no, man, no, man. No rush him, no rush him, no rush him. Uh, uh, you know, the team had a bug and I was last night, you know, father, man. No, man, here we are going, no, King Tubbies. Here we are going, the mayor, the mayor. Yeah. I'm, I'm all right. Let me tell you what I'm going. Yeah, come interview him this morning, no, King Tubbies. Here we are going, no, King Tubbies. 
about it. Yeah. He said, um, when he did that making speech, when he look out in a crowd, as a little youth, he might grow up and he might have nothing, you know, but he just have big dreams. And when he did there and he said, I make the speech, and when he might look and I see all the people them in front of him and his mother and his sister, the man say, he all just right. get weak, yeah. Yeah. So you have to understand it, man. You don't know. It's just, it's just like King Tubby's here work on a thing and a big, big ceremony. I keep a week's feel and it's like the tone come out. So they must salute King Tubby's. <laughs> I want to look and see your granny and uh, uh, John or Asta. You got to feel it, man. Yeah, you are going to We have some real people in this place and you're wasting Banagoli Center. Them people want to talk to your father. And just talk to my friend, them, man. All right, man. <laughs> Run. Yes, darling. We are We are a nice girl. But they don't have mummy bar. Big up mummy bar. Big up my friend. Big up all our weeks. The place is blessed. It, it plays bless. So what? So what are your name, yeah. darling? So when we come away from you, Altia, my name. Altia. When we come away from you, you may ask for an Altia. Yeah. Don't have mummy bar. Yeah. Then we have to go past you. Manabolic Square. All right, all right. Well, step in yeah. the yeah. darling. So eat your food, you know. I'm not saying nothing there. You're a big man there. I go on par. Wow. All right. Yeah. I'm going to talk to my friend, Mummy. All right. Let me talk to her fast. Yeah, because we have Muta on the line. Let me talk to her fast, fast, fast. Yes, run. Mummy, Mummy. Big up yourself, Oh, you mean, Mummy? Big up yourself, the Mummy. Yeah, Tommy's not. Tommy's not stop big up every time. Yes, I know he says straight. Straight. Are you my police hiring? All right, darling. Give thanks to yeah, me. Give thanks to me. I'm going to tell you, Ronnie. I'm going to tell you, 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 we have stone ginger wine, yes, man. Work but it's stone, I got too light, you know. No, man, I got me a record to run up a moment, but I got a full stone. We have everything, man. That's what I had you in. All right, mommy, enough love. We have to talk to Muta now, but enough love in Wakefield. Yeah, yeah big up yourself. I have a, I have a Gully Friday. Every Friday, I'm moving bar. Why are you big it up for you? Gully yes? Friday. Every Friday, yeah, I'm moving bar. Yeah, big up yourself. Yeah, right, every mommy. Friday. All right, bar. mommy, yeah. mommy bar. Wakefield. Yes. Wakefield, St. Catherine, right? Yeah, man. King Tubby's respect. Respect with a nice girl name again. Altia. Respect to Altia. And Mummy. Mummy Bar. Well, well, I'm not saying anything to Stones in the wine over the shots. I'm not joking, man. Muta. Baruka. Muta. Uh, what do you want to say, Muta? This is a Ruta. What do you want to say, man? It's a pleasure, man. I never know to walk with Muta. No, me here. I'm listening to you up there, you know. Up here, where, Rasta? Yes, man, yeah, man, if I gambia. So, oh, may I go on Ruta? May I deal with, may I deal with Babylon? Oh, may I deal with them? Ruta, Ruta, go on, all right. Ruta, go on, all right. All right, no good. But if you never, if you take out your food, you don't come better. No, Rasta. No, Rasta. Last week, my foot them swell up, me I tell you, Ruta. Swell up, swell up. Can't manage that. Okay. So, so, so tell me what's going on in Gambia now, Muta. What, what the latest? Well, you know, it's a root festival they have up here. Yeah. And, um, no people, I mean, like, thousands of people, uh, we perform in our stadium the other night. It was really something else. Yeah. Me, Tizla, some other artists, Scratchilos, and them little, little daughter. Scratchilos up there? Um, eh? Scratchilos, and the tour with you too? Yes, no, 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 tour, no, 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 he was up here, them gone yesterday. Them did a, a, a initiation yesterday, which really, it did not take me a little while to tell you about that experience there, where them, where them there's a renaming ceremony. Where them do is give you, them tell you go in a village, and each person at the village adopt somebody. Them did about 120 had, um, one. Yeah. And most one from Jamaica. I think you're the only one when come from Jamaica, we never deny it. 
So they never no, adapt him? So, so nobody not adapt, eh? nobody not adapt the higher stand? No, not that they not adapt me. It's that Muta Baruka, I'm stick with Muta Baruka. You know? Oh, because if they adapt him, I've got to change your name, and you're not change that. Yeah, them, them give a name, yeah, and then you go to a certain ritual. You know, they have them to teach everybody a chicken, and then they go to a chicken neck, and, you know, you have to dance, so we, and, oh, what do you think? Change your clothes, put on different clothes. So, most of the ones, them, from, which I, I am surprised that I will leave a Jamaica, from Jamaica, they up here, you know, will leave one from Jamaica. Wow. Well, so. Okay, that's and, um, good, Gambia. They, they, them, they didn't finish it, and, but, it's not really the initiation part who has talked about like the experience where I have with the Jojo people there. Jojo people? It's like, Ron Mouchet, I come see your Jojo. I don't know if you know when he is Jojo. No, tell me what go on. You know when he is Jojo? Jojo? No, no, like a sweetie. No, no, when he is Jojo. Like sweetie? <laughs> obia, Obia, oh, Obia, Obia, oh, science, science. Jano. No, it's an it's a, it's a African science matter. Yeah, so how that work now? Well, all right. This, I don't have enough time to tell you where I go on. All right. The, the reality in the situation yesterday, last yesterday, yeah. where they have the name ceremony, but the president yeah. is in to the naming ceremony. The president of right? Gambia? So the president of Trump, eh? The president of Gambia? Yeah, the president of Gambia, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, was the man who did the ceremony. Oh, a big ceremony. Man. Right. So where him go? In the we are still on there, and when them do, them have these, these gunpowder. Them dig a hole in the ground, and feed the gunpowder in the hole, and they light the gunpowder. So the man who light the gunpowder have to run it. Yeah. And the explosion is like, you have never seen an explosion. I mean, like, them tell you must open the car, the car because the, the, the vibration will block the car glass. Because some of the car glass, them block. That is how powerful the vibration is. It's like, yeah, from above, and like, this, yeah. This, this thing them say is to run evil spirit. Right? Oh. So, them, 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 like, intermediate, you, you hear a boom! And every time it, 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 it rocks, you right you actually... Somebody right now, you think it's a minute, because if you learn of work, science, I powder run up your Because right you do not expect it. And it's not, I'm not, like, every you 10 minutes, it's like, it's like, any time it was, explode. Yeah. Them don't explode it. Anyway, we still don't know this. Thing and I wait for the president to come and then bring out all of the ones them who are killed them here. Yeah. And each one come out with that chicken, you know. Wow. I know they are cut until they don't kill the chicken. Yeah, they are, yeah. Right? Uh, 120 odd people sit on the top and the ground. With 120 chicken. Including like, Satchelot, Sizzler, um, Isis, Sizzler, and 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 and Sizzler, and who are you look what type of people them from mm -hmm. from the man to be chicken? Tell them to we team up here down. I dance it goes at the president. Anyway. So me sit down in the the executive area you, with, yeah. the, with the chief them and the, yeah. the police people them. So them have this juju tweet to come out now. Them person are some red garment. And them are cut up themselves. Cut up themselves like a knife? Eh? With mash it and then say like Sharp knife, new knife, sharp knife, much I cut off the but them now bleed, bleed, them now cut, the cut not the pandemic, you know. Like a man who take a, a, a razor, and he's not a cut in tongue, a slice up in tongue, slice up in tongue, but it now bleed. So, they have to continue doing this thing, you know. So the president takes no two hours to come, and we sit on the way from the president. Every minute they move, we look at the sun, come over that side, and then we must go over that side, so go over that side, the sun, come over that side. Yeah. So we sit on the way from the president. So the president come now. And the president is now meeting the people them who are going to change their name. And then him start to dance, go around. With the king, Juju Priest. I mean, when him go around, the Juju Priest, him a dance, say, they're going to use the market and I do all that thing. And so, see you at the market and night. So, the president reached me you now. And he recognized him, me, Musa Baruka now. So, yeah. he hugged me up. So, me and him hugged me up now. A brother beside him, grab a machine, and start driving over him by the guy, you know, the man that comes to us by the man. Mm -hmm. And he started to draw the machine over him head and a slice of himself, slice of himself. And then he, somebody hold the machine and he dropped on the ground. So, me know, they never take kill, but. 
it looked like him there. We talk to Muta Life and Gambia. And Muta tell about an African juju, like we call Obia. A session we go on yesterday. Some Jamaicans in the day. People have changed their name, man. That's like a kind of session. So, we say the president is like a bald shine head, man, Muta. No, it's not the. No, it's not the. No, yeah, but all of them bald. But it's not the president you have to talk about them. The president. Alright, I'm a go on with the crowd. Yeah. I meet everybody. I meet right. the police, the high ranking police, and the parliament here, and the minister of it, and the minister of that. Yeah. Right? But they recognize me, you know, because the man there, them, them used to listen to me when they were young, they listen to me, and I was. Anyway, when they reach me, you know, they give me a big hug. The president. So when they give me a big hug, you now, I'm one of the man them, in the audience, with, with the priest them, they, they drop the machine from one of the priest them. I start slice up him head and slice up him hand and slice up him mouth and everything. I did drop on the tongue now. And it, it look like him dead, but he's not dead. And the, 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 the president look for me now and he look for the president and he say, What is happening to him? And he say, It's the spirit that takes him over. So he lay down the mouth and the brown and the president took a bottle of water and threw up on him. And then some man lift him up and he told him, Get up. When the man gets up, you know, the man has searched and matched from the other man. Every man in there has matched it, you know. And now, you know, he has searched the matched. And when he grabbed the matched, you know, the man, them, you know, the have grabbed him, you know, to take all the matched from him because he said, we look at our spirit, you know. So the, the president said, the president, all I'm from him, you know. And I, the president looked at me and said, this is his son. He said, oh, is his son? And he said, yeah. So now, people all know me, I dance to the president. You know, the president, who I'm from, you know, and you walk, go around and you do the same thing. You tell go on the other side now. One of the priests then drop on the ground and lay up on the ground, you know. And he take the match here. And I try to bed and I try to neck and I try to mouth and I try to face and feel like he's not going to him just stop. And him look like he's dead. And then show some some portion for them, you know, what some herbs, this is, them show up on them, and then get up. You see them get up now? The, the president grab arms for a knife. <laughs> and this is the part that we really want to come to. The president pull up the machine up in the ear you now. Come he's come up inside the president, you know. And me, I say, okay. Me not nah, really, me have to go to go to go on after now. <laughs> Whenever you have a slice, the president Muta. grab the machine. Yeah. Pull up the machete in the hand, eh, the, the, the ear, you know. So, me I look for the machete in the hand, no, me I say, all right, it's either two things that will happen, no. It's either the president who end up stabbing himself to prove that he knew about the intent of his judo thing, or he never stabbed me to show me that uh, this judo thing that can work. You see, when the president pull up the machete up in the ear, the soldier mm -hmm. then them go on for him and I'm pulling it on it, and I'm going to pull on for the machete now, and the police the soldier and hold on for him and then ring it out time and the president of the yeah, yeah. yeah. Them ring out them take out the matches out time and now. And the next man now jump which make the pie now now say it is in all of brother. Jump in at the crowd now. Cause it's a go on and everybody are looking up. But the people them who sit down to get the name it can chance to go on. But me right at the kick I did everybody now and the president now the, the, the man come now watching at the crowd now and he start to get that some spirit and he drop on the ground now and he better take up the match here and hold it in his belly and I put the head, put the, put the, put the, the hand up on the ground now to press it in him, you know. And the president hold on for the neck and draw him away and the other, the, the, the other piece them hold on for him tight, you know, and the man just a putter, 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 like, you know, like, like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. In, in the like, like, spirit, like, like, like. So, me look on the president now and, let's say, if we are going now, you can just drop something up in the wheel. They have, they have some things for them in the you know. And the president, I tried to me say, it's that now, I'm saving, because when they pull out that, the power, the judicial power leaving, and then take out the, take out the band out of him, son. And when he took out the banana for him, son, he said the son kind of relaxed. So he said the power in the, the, the armband. Yeah. 
Oh. And then he said to me, I the power in the judo, the judo power in the thing on him, on him here. So when you take out that there for the man, you know, the man kind of look more relaxed again. So me there, I say, all right, when it ever see you, you know, from him with the match to you, that's him, that's all that. Yeah. And look, look for the match to you, they do that, all right. If you bring on the match to you, anyhow, that I'm going to kill you. If I am going to cut him down, I'm going to cut him. But it shows that I'm holding up on the match here, and I'm never going to match here now. And me and him go on and I dance, me and him I dance and I dance, and we are part, and we make another circle and I go. And there are Juju man, them there, they might chop up themselves, they might take scissors, I mean, not scissors, sharp instruments, and I, I mean, no blood, no move, no, no, no blood, nobody now get blood up to know. So, so, so you have the impression, you know, like when you get a cut, I, no, it's like, you know, like when you get a cut, you know, you know, like when you get a cut, and you can't see, say, get a cut. You have the mark like them, I get the cut. Look, a man, the man, them have green mango in them hand, and then use the blade, and cut the mango to show you, say, some sharp material. Right? Because yeah. they slice up the mango, them, and show you that sharp material. And when they don't slice up the mango, the man will look in tongue. And hold him, he chop my tip on him, and lie for him tongue. And then him put, him, him throw, him throw some put on for him feet. And him mark him skin with a sharp machine. And then him pull out him chest. And him just take the machine and look, 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 look. Mm-hmm. And then when him done now, him just turn again. He do a next turn. And me experience all of this thing now. And me I say, you know what say? One thing they never see them do, they never see them make a next man chop them, because the whole of them are chop themselves. Oh, And then I wonder, where they, where they, where they, where the president, how do you vote the president now? He kind of hold on for me because, he might take me now, because the first time I go meet me, he didn't vote me, but the first time I go meet me now, and, you know, he made me come, last time, he had him sit down, he had him sit down, he had him sit down beside him. He's like, do a nice thing, the people them love his like, don't you? Yeah. I mean, like, we can't walk out the road. Believe you me, it's like we're in a prison. We have to have a soldier guard. We have to have security. Because when you walk out of the road, it's like pandemic in the motor road. So what, so what am I saying to you, motor? Where people am I saying to you? The people them over here? Yeah. Let yeah, the people them love the man. What's that? Most of the people who take the iron to Jamaica, you know. Ah, okay. Them leave, them leave, them leave England, them leave Jamaica to England, and then them leave England and come on here. So yeah, most yeah. of the people they want me to say, we leave down here, we don't come from down here. It's Jamaica and people repatriate from England, come down here. So. Okay. Because I don't want to leave my wife, bro. And this festival is like a gathering of all of those people. You have like the most about 200 people who come from England. Yeah, I must, they don't know, they don't know, only if I want to come from Jamaica, don't ya? America, yeah, I must go 200 of them from America, okay. come down yeah. here, and then you have the Gambia and then Norway. It's like, no people, no. So, so Muta, so during the ceremony, the name, no. yeah, during the ceremony, during the ceremony yesterday where you said that people change their name, so, so Switzerland, them change all their names? Right, the too? ceremony, what them do, the president, all right, the, the people them come, and them have, who that? I would have called Muta when I do an interview, Rasta. Eh? I would have called them time and I'm Muta. I would have called them. I would have called them. Oh, I see them. I see them. I see them. Come check me out. All right. I don't know if I'm going to call them. I don't know if I'm going to call them. I don't know if I'm going to call them. All right, quiet, quiet, quiet. Uh, all right, Muta, hold on a second. Muta, hold on, hold on a second. This is the Stepping Razor, 339 Jamaica time. Muta in Gambia. Hold on a second, Muta. Where, cousin? Brian, click it. Okay. Lord have mercy, look on my grandson. I, I look at my grandson. I, Lord I, I have mercy. I hold Jarastafari, man. You're going the other way. No, nah, man, two years to this, you know, Jarastafari, you know. I, man, two years to Jarastafari. This man. is... Stepping Razor, Ran Mushet, Ruta, Infamuta, Baruka. And you know, this is a one of a kind program. Thank you very much, wherever you are that's listening. Wherever you are listening right now, it's a respect to you. Muta, hold on. Hold. Oh, we're going to have to call Muta again, Sammy. Uh, we're just ready to hear the continuation of this story. Muta in Gambia. Yeah, Muta was uh, about to uh, let us talk to a few of our friends in Gambia. We said big up. Okay. 
Yeah. We're going to do it again, real cousin. All right. So we get back forward to Muta in just a little bit. It is 3.47 Jamaica time. Good afternoon, wherever you are in the island and around the world. Hey, big up Europe. See you next time, man. Yeah. If it's raining where you are on the island right now, we say uh, keep dry, keep safe. Drivers, look out for the people, look out for the pedestrians and don't splash them. Kind of said it's raining in Montego Bay right now. Good morning. Well, good afternoon to Mrs. Denise Taylor. Thanks for listening to the Stepping Razor. Because you know you're a Rasta, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, thanks for listening where we are. This group is from Montego Bay. They call I Jamix. They say right now, rough a road. And all the sun hot so many places. Expecting the like, rainfall on the island. Cool it down. You know what I mean? It's rough a road. We're standing by. We're trying to get Muta again. And then right after that, we're going to talk to the lady down at Run Ship International. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right through. I refer. Breadfruit in the land of bread. No, man. 3.53 is the time. We're still trying to get Muta because I know people want to hear the continuation of that story Muta Baruka. In case you're just joining us, Muta was online talking to us from Gambia. He was telling us about a ceremony he was at uh, yesterday with the president of Gambia and some Jamaicans. And how you have some what they call juju people. And these people are high in science, can work some serious obia. Muta said these people are dancing around with some sharp knives and machetes. You know what I mean? Slicing up, cutting up themselves. <laughs> and then say, oh, no. <laughs> Not one drop of blood. Chickens to, um, as part of the sacrifice. But we didn't have our individual chickens. You know. That was just a part of the ceremony in general. Okay. So we didn't have to, you know, use a chicken, you know. Individually. Okay. Right? ISIS don't know so, that. Yeah, it's, I mean, you hear about these things that I've said before, but when you actually experience them, it's something totally different, and it's a part of the, the tradition of the president's village. In Gambia. And so we go separately. In, the, huh? in Gambia. In Gambia, yeah, in Gambia. In, in the president's uh, village. Village. And it's so the brothers go separately, and we go separately. We go to our initiation, and each person gets a, a, like a, a family, a sister, who takes care of you, takes you to the whole ritual, we have to learn our dance. And Muta was there laughing at us because in the actual ceremony now last night, we didn't know that we had to actually individually dance for the president. We thought it was, you know, groups of sisters and groups of brothers. Mr. Run, yeah. all know me a laugh because some piece of dancing go on in. You're supposed to do what this sister or your brother tell you to do and some dancing. Because you know you have some Europeans there as well. You understand? Yes, Can you yes, picture? Yes. The drumming and they might go left and the drum might go right and what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it's so four o'clock. It's four o'clock in Jamaica now, and in uh, it's nine p.m. Nine p.m. in Gambia mm-hmm. now. Where are you? Where are you, Banjo? Yes. No, we're not in Banjo actually. Um, we are at our hotels. We have there's a banquet here tonight, an awards banquet that we're going to be attending. Muta's hotel is right next to ours okay. in a cul-de-sac, you know, and so the, there's an award. African banquet that everybody's all dressed up in their African wear, there'll be African music. Lovely, um, lovely. I should have been there. Last night, though, lovely. after the ceremony, there was a huge concert in the stadium in yeah. the President's Village where Sisla Kalanji performed with the Firehouse Crew. Wow. And that was massive. Musa also performed. Yes. When we just came, we had a performance also in the Independent Stadium in Baguio and um, Sisla and Musa performed there as well. It was, that was even bigger, but it was a power outage. It reminds me so much of Jamaica. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, oh. All right, so, so, so tell me about Gambia. Now, this, is, is this your first time to Africa, um, ISIS? Absolutely. My first time ever. I dreamt about this and finally it has come to And the people here are just so, they love Jamaicans. Like, it's unbelievable. You hear that? They love Jamaicans. When you actually come, because we have a convoy. Everywhere we go, there's a convoy. Everybody in show this is Britain. We have security because we're guests of the president. So when you move to the streets, people know beforehand and they just line the streets in us. But Sizzler and Muta, it's unbelievable. Great. They love them, they love them. I'm going to show them. Beautiful. I mean, yo. You hear that, Jamaica? They're there in the when we're nice, man. <laughs> Muta, nice. Muta is in the newspaper every single day on the front page. Wow. Every single day. Because we have to post them every day we have an activity. <laughs> and he makes the front page of the, of the day of the day wow. every day. You know, and we walk into the streets and, and to the market, and you hear people come up, this poem, this poem. Oh, uh, <laughs> Muta. You know, it's, it's, it's very nice to know that. So, so tell me quickly before we go now, um, Isis, Sato, um, how is Gambia? For us who've never been there, how oh, place look? Oh, 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 Gambia? 
Well, Gambia, where we it has a kind of ancient to it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the places, like for instance, when you go downtown, by the market, a straight parade. Straight parade. I mean, the people, the only thing the people are all dressed up in their African garb, like daily. It looks like everybody's going to some uh, great banquet or outfit every day because they're all dressed up. But apart from that, it's straight downtown. Iron Street, Kickerfoot Market, all along. And the people come to and hustle the same way, just like Jamaica. It's amazing. It's just the same kind of energy. Differences in the culture, but the, 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 um, the energy is similar in terms of our culture and theirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the guys are the they, they hustle with us and want to hustle us. And no, no, I'll that we don't hear us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And the people... And it's English. English you talk there, right? It's so very loving. It's English you talk English there? Yes, they talk English. Yes, there is. Yes, they talk English. Yes. And they have another, the other language as well. What's the other language, the other dialect called? What's our dialect called? The other dialect. There's another dialect as well. The other dialect. Jola. Okay. Yes. All right. It's spoken right. as well. Yambia. But Walla. 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 All right, Isis. All right, right Sato. Let's yeah. heal up Muta and move on. And it's Sato. very nice to talk to you, Sato. Sato. Thank you, yes. Sato. Look at this, we hear you're doing a very good job, my brother. I thank you. I thank <laughs> you, Sato. <laughs> Sato, jamming. Hold on. Bless up. Bless yeah, bless and big up all our fans here on the island. Uh, Sister Denise, Isis Miller is now Sato from Gambia. Yes. So Muta is in Gambia, the Republic of Gambia. West Africa surrounded by Senegal, apart from a short trip of the Atlantic coastline and the western and it's the smallest country on mainland Africa. Gambia. Muta. Yes. But, but I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something that come find out down here. Bleaching is illegal here. Skin bleaching. You can get up to, yeah, you can get up to five years in prison for bleach. Jano. Yeah, and the, 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 the year the murder rate is under five people. How many, how many? You know what I'm yeah, how many, let, let me try to get the population thing here from Gambia. How many people? The population is 1.8 million people. But Jamaica, but yeah, you're not around the same. Yeah. Okay. No, it's less than Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, Jamaica yeah, yeah. is like 2.7 million. Yeah. All right, five people a year. Less than five people per year. The murder rate is less than five people. Five. They got the independence from England in February 1965. The president, the president take out, he's the one who took out um, Gambia out of the Commonwealth. He gave me a glass like what one million reason why he can come out of the Commonwealth. Wow. Yes. So that, that's very interesting to hear that. The murder rate is, oh, is under five. Five people, you know, that are about zero five people. That population, that is 1.8 million. Yeah, but with people, them don't they live poor motor, because we see, say most people earn like about $1.25 US a day, even mm -hmm. though the country... What is the earn, what is, what is buying for $1 a year? You know, the people, them poor, what you call poor. It means that you have a family with less than five people, and you can buy food. And don't live in a big house and have no big, big, big yeah. escalator and everything. Other people live in a country where I can afford food than have a place where I can afford food and I have 1,000 people that dead every day. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean every year. Every year. And here's an interesting fact. They must say Gambia no Muta. They must say the land fertile down there, you know, good for farming and them thing there. Nice land. Look, all right. They have, a, they have a saying like Jamaica here, eat what you grow, grow what you eat. And every post, as you say, it must eat what you grow, grow what you eat. It's a developing country. It is moving into a level. But it is, to me, it's not the worst African state I have been. And I see that there is certain progress that I would have liked to see in a Jamaica make uh, in, 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 in a Jamaica. I'd, I'd have liked certain things. But especially the crime rate, it's the fascinating that there's a country, an African state, no longer have five murders in a one year. It, it's very, it, it's a funny side when, when the minister tell like that. I tell him, they must bring this, the police statistics from show me for the past five years. So tomorrow I'm going to get the statistics of that for the next five, for five years, what a murder that takes place. So 
Well, we are killing our weekend. Yeah, man, tell you right. Mota, I'm looking at the front page of the Daily Observer from Gambia, and I'm seeing a picture with the president, one fat man in a one pretty, like a burgundy suit with some pretty, pretty something on it. I'm seeing you there, Mota. Mm. You have on like a, a great thing with some brown something. Yeah, that, is, that is the ceremony we are telling about. Yeah, man. That was the ceremony. Yeah, man. I'm seeing you Mota. Front page of the observer. <laughs> we see her as that. Fro that you know. Jano. Well, I mean, I tell you, I mean, the people there, the people there. All right, you see, when we are in Islam, all right, first of all, where we is, the hotel, where we is, it's in the tourist area. Yeah. So then you see all sorts of people that they are trying to sell and anything there. You see, you see, we are in Islam, we can't walk from out of the hotel. A Michael Jackson thing. <laughs> Yeah, we have to have, we have a side runner, you know, side runner, meaning that when we step on the road to the hotel, we have soldiers, we are run from the side of the car, that the people them don't rush the car. Uh, and to the reach of the hotel, so you come, make sure that when you come out, of, come out of the car, you go right in the hotel, because it's a terrible thing, uh, terrible thing. Well, it's enough love, Mota, and, and, and we love that, the support. We see where, we're reading the Observer over there, and we see where, what, 20 people? Uh, we're hurt in a car accident. You hear about some accident? Yeah, but last night, they come from the show. Oh, the same show? Okay. Yeah, they come from the show and they get into I think one somebody dead in a, in a next car accident. And it's the show they come from. Sorry about that, man. John, we're going to enjoy themselves on that one, man. Yeah, yeah. But everything else seems to have gone good in a game. I'm reading you. Everything, yes. Yeah. It's like them have a bank. We're going to perform poetry, the spoken word. I'm going to go to the bank with them. Tomorrow, I'm going to next show in our next stadium. We're going to go to And then the next day, I'm going to go to Senegal. Senegal, right next door. Next door, next door, man. I see a country. I just want to see Indian. I want to see Uh, I think, uh, all right. The Senegal is to see French. And we probably don't know what that is. But it's going to be. So, European come divide up the country and car. You know, I hope Pakistan and India is India, but the English device are one type of Well, we learn a lot about Gambia today, Muta, and we're really glad to hear from you, and we're glad for the love that they're giving you over Africa, the Muta. And it, it's oh, God, man, I tell you, man, sometimes it makes tears come out of my eye to see how them three play You know, like, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm, we can't well, can explain it. Believe me, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Jano, we're proud of that. It's totally it, overwhelming. And it even feels nice if you know, say, I'm yeah. yeah. on this side of holding the end No, it even feels nice if you know, say, I'm on this side of holding the end for a legend like you, Muta. It makes me feel nice. I mean, feel like, you know? Oh, you Ruta. Ruta, you have one, good man. All right, Ruta. Sure. <laughs> sure, yo, <man. laughs> but if you want one like me, personally, you have to take off me. <laughs> no, no, man, I just do what I can, man. I do what I can, man. <laughs> but we're very proud of you, though, Muta. We feel honored and... I can't wait to see you in my place again, Rasta. And God bless yeah, you. So and take care of yourself in Rasta. I'm glad that. We're not going to pass on a chair, don't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Why, why have you mentioned that, Muta? <laughs> <laughs> why have you mentioned that, Muta? <laughs> all right, all right. Very good. I would nice to hear people here. You see them I laugh after it. But I feel very proud of you, yeah, Muta. And God bless and all the best, man. Proud of you, Muta. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Muta Baruka talking to us from Gambia. Kenyatta, Nkuma, Hannibal, Atleton, Malcolm, Garvey, Haile Selassie. This poem shall disappoint you because this poem is to be continued in your mind. Lord have mercy, look at my grandson. Look at my grandson. Lord have mercy. You're going the other way. No nah, man, too weird to listen to Jarastafari or you war, you know. I'm on to you. Know. Without any apology, it's no good to steer in a white man country too long. Ruta, take it away. Thank you, Kashima. I work with Kashima today because the bubbles kind of say I'm blue from the second race. Kashima Francis. Good job. I refer breadfruit in the land of bread. No, my Lord, God. have mercy look on my grandson. I, I look at my grandson. I, Lord, I, I have mercy. I'll hold Jarastafari, man. You're going the other way. 
No nah, man, too weird to listen to Jarastafari or war, you know. I'm on choose Rastafari, man. It's 442 and this is the Stepping Razor. Blessings, Ran Mushet in for Muta Baruka. But today I am Ruta with lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Ruta. I feel like I'm one dub in a cause you know, you don't really have no dub for that program and step in razor. Yeah. You understand? Anyway, let's get to a serious matter now. Um, Tivoli. And remember the Tivoli incursion. Yeah, you remember what one soldiers and police went into Tivoli four years ago. Four years ago. So, Mr. Lloyd D. Aguilar, we have him on the line right now. He's going to tell us uh, what's happening in Tivoli now. And what's going to happen? Because, I mean, the report from the public defender. What did the public defender report? <laughs> Pub- <laughs> Mr. Diagaba, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, thank you, sir. And you? I'm very good. All right, sir. Oh, what's going on in Tivoli these days, Mr. Diagaba? Well, um, in a week or so, it will be four years since what happened in May 2010. And we call it a massacre. And uh, after four years, there has been no justice for the people in Tivoli Gardens. Nobody has been arrested. Nobody has been investigated by the police. And uh, the people's property were destroyed. They have not been compensated. There were people who were abused. The state has not paid them any mind. And uh, there are people who are injured. And uh, it's necessary for them to be paying, you know, a lot of money to buy medication, which they can't afford. So, um, I'm sorry. Um, so, that, that's what's happening there. So, they've decided that they need to do a march. And uh, so, on May 27, they will be marching to Gordon House to, um, you know, let their voices be heard. To, let, to remind Jamaica that they haven't received any justice. Any justice. And uh, that something needs to be done. Now, let me tell you some of the demands that they're making. One is that there needs to be a separate inquiry in, into the destruction of property and uh, the, the um, injuries which their people suffered. We don't think that the commission of inquiry which they're going to have will be able to adequately uh, investigate that aspect of it because it's going to take time. It's necessary for them to go down there, talk to the people because some of them got paid and some didn't. And it's a very complicated process and we don't think it's fair to them for the state to be putting that aspect of it into this commission of inquiry. So we're saying that it should be separate. And uh, the other thing is that the way the commission of inquiry is shaping up, it, though it's, a, it's an inquiry, it's not a criminal inquiry. So whatever comes out at the end of the day, the state is not obliged to even accept any recommendation of uh, whatever the commission has signed. Um, you know, so, it, so people were killed, some they say 200 people. So we need a criminal investigation. Uh, we believe that Jamaican law does not allow for the prosecution of people who had command responsibility for what happened. You know, when, when something goes down in any community, it's always the individual policeman or soldier that they're trying to find. And it's impossible to find those people because, as you know, the forensics and the ballistics and the, and, and the evidence and all like that is, is impossible to put together to convict anybody. And it's even worse in Tivoli Gardens in 2010 because it was a, a war situation. Yeah, so but basically in, you think it, it, it basically who... International law, yeah. um, those who had command responsibility yeah, like the, yeah, the can be held yeah. accountable. Right, the commanders, the commanders. Yes, the commanders can be held accountable according to international yeah, law. The ones who give the two, orders. For example, the, the Japanese and the German... Um, Commanders were held accountable, and some of them were executed um, for the for the atrocities which were committed by their soldiers. Yeah, the ones who gave the orders. Absolutely. All right, we're talking to yeah. Mr. Lloyd De Aguilar. It's been four years, almost four years now, since uh, what is calling the massacre in Tivoli yeah. Gardens. We this was the massacre, yeah, yes. May two thousand and ten that happened. Yes. So on May twenty seven, there'll be a march. Yes. And uh, it's a march for justice. As the people want compensation for property damage, for injuries suffered, 
for torture and inhumane treatment for the uh, and the amount of compensation must be determined they are arguing by a separate commission of inquiry into damages committed by security forces against the people their homes and their property serious thing you know serious thing you know mr Aguilar. yeah man it's a serious thing man you know 1865 was also a massacre, you know, and this is the worst massacre since 1865. So that um, we can't just allow it to go like that, because if you allow it to go, then it means that there will be more massacres around the corner. Because you must remember that after this thing went down in May 2010, the then Minister of National Security said that this was a template for dealing with gangs in inner cities, a template. You know Whoa. what that means? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna reproduce it yeah, again man, yeah, and man. again. Yeah, so we're gonna deal with the thing for now, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not good. All right. No. Well, it, yeah. Well, so, so what we're gonna have then is we're gonna march there, and then we're gonna have a political rally over by the um, Saint William Grand Park, and we're gonna invite speakers, political speakers, and so on. Uh, we're going to invite um, poets and, and entertainers and stuff like that to come. Now, we are letting people know that this is not just about Tivoli. This is a march for human rights, first of all, because what happened in Tivoli can happen anywhere else in Jamaica, from Montego Bay to Clarendon to Mayton, anywhere else it can happen. As we said before, it was a template. So people shouldn't see it as a, as a Tivoli thing. It's a, it's a thing on behalf of all Jamaicans. We're inviting everybody to come out. And we are saying also that this is the way poor people are treated in this country. And if you look what's happening now, how poor people have been treated in the inner cities, where the Jamaica Public Service Company just go in there and just cut off the, the light to the people um, because they're saying that electricity is being stolen. And so what that amounts to is collective punishment. Like when the Israelis go into Palestine and, 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 um, and collectively punish everybody because right. they are fighting against a few it. armed people. Yeah, so, I understand what you're saying, uh, Mr. De Aguilar. But, um, all right, so basically we're inviting people, sorry, Mr. De Aguilar, basically we're inviting people to come out on the 27th uh, to yeah. remind Jamaicans of what happened. Yeah, and there are certain I, I demands. This must be seen as a march against poverty as well. So in other words, we want to link it up. Those people who are being terrorized by the Jamaica Public Service Company. Um, and they are being terrorized because they are poor. Electricity is a social service. It's a right. It's a human right. Just like you need water, you need electricity, you need food, you need shelter, you need um, education, and you need health. The state should be providing these things, and the Jamaica government is a part owner of the Jamaica Public Service Company. You can't just sit back and allow JPS to abuse so poor people like this. So we're saying, let's link it up. You link let's it up, start, everybody, 27. Let's poverty march and, and link it up and, and let our voices be heard. Tuesday the 27th. All right, Mr. Diaguilar, thank you very much. And uh, this is very interesting as uh, we're going on, Mr. Diaguilar. I see where... Um, you're demanding on this march, you're demanding where uh, you want those responsible for the murders uh, to be brought to justice. We see where you want Police Commissioner Owen Ellington, former head of the JDF, Major General Stuart Saunders, former Prime Minister Bruce Golding, uh, Minister of National Security, then former Minister of National Security Dwight Nelson. And um, in this document, uh, the people are demanding that these people, that we just hear you call their name, they demand that they be extradited to the International Criminal Court to be investigated and tried for crimes against humanity. A big thing. Mr. De Aguilar, all the best yes, to you and the people at Tivoli. Thank sir. you very much, sir. All the best to you. All the best to you, Mr. De Aguilar. This is where we shall speak of the wretched yeah. seed. Serious things in a man. Serious things in a Serious demands. Yeah, in this demand that the people at Tivoli are demanding, this document that I have in front of me, it reads like this. Furthermore, we demand that those responsible for the murder of over 200 people in Tivoli must be brought to justice. Police Commissioner Owen Ellington, former head of the JDF, Major General Stuart Saunders, I'm reading from the document here, the Tivoli document, former Prime Minister Bruce Golding, and former Minister of National Security Dwight Nelson. And the document said they demand that these people be extradited to the International Criminal Court to be investigated and tried for crimes against humanity. Certain country around the world, you know, when you hear people utter these words in a serious thing to mean to these people that, you know. We see what happened. 4.52. That's the time in Jamaica.
This is a step in re- reggae radio. Kyrie FM. Without any apology. We open up the phone lines on 974 or 618 Step in, Reza. Let's see what's on your mind. We can talk now. Eight minutes to five, Jamaica time. Enjoy yourself. What a nice Thursday afternoon. May 15. In a white man country too long. In a white man country Step in. Step, step, respect. Step in. Let's go. Ah, be a while. Me not have enough today. You can come up for the number here, please, after your break. Yeah, give me number, number. If you're white, it's all right. If you're white, I don't, you know what? Yeah, you can. Ah, not call back. Ah, all right. Just, just get a quick credit and call forward, man. Call forward, sorry. That's something. In a white man country This is the step in, step in, step in, step in. Step in Razor, big up to DJ Weasel. Yeah, anyway, there right now. Anyway, stand up, eat your food. Yeah. This is a step in Razor. Step in now, uh, step in now, uh, step in now. Uh. Ruta. Yes, I live and direct yes. with Lewis Wagwan Spider, brother. Bazooka. I dare you, Jack Glory, you know. Well, you look like a white man country, believe in a right now. No, me, I tell you, all Chinese, man. Right now, them have all talk more than we are. Like, I cut off one way and we have to rebuild it. Yeah, no, man. That thing, that, that thing, they're not right. But JPS realized still, and we give thanks all Prime Minister, all Mama step in. All Mama but, step but, in. But run, I. Yeah. Run. Yes, I. If you like, then cut off one of them, Jamaica house, them all the acknowledge we like now, you know. You feel sad that one? You feel sad that one, man. I trick them a trick way. Oh, so he man, I say because they like lack of a Jamaica house, why? Eh? Oh, not a Jamaica house, a Papa in it the other day. Oh, Papa, yeah, man. Why I they know, rush I it so? I feel them all same way, man. Yeah, you, yeah. you understand? Yeah. Well, so we're going, we're going around. Yeah, well, we're just there, you know, and look where we're going, you know, we just want the people for just, you know, just think smart, because smart is the new rich, you know. Smart. We have to just be smart in Babylon, you know, smart on the island, and especially as island people, we have to just clean the place, man. And, you know, you know, yeah. you know, say, when I observe a little thing, a while ago, when motor, when motor, the panel here, you know. Yeah. And I said, why Jamaica? Cannot. Why we, sorry. Why we Jamaican cannot be like those people? Five person. Five person per year. And, and ten hours a day just for the day. Yeah, we need zero. Huh? We don't see why we are killing ourselves, you know. We don't have to do it now. In a paradise we live in, you know. Yeah, no. You know, it's a paradise we live in, around. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm sure you. You agree with you that. Says, you says every little youth right you now or every... Every, every person who get himself in a them like a killing thing and forget the chance to just tour part of the country for one year. Trust me. Them I then realize where them standing around. Yeah, no man, a true man. A paradise you have in around. Nice. Well, I, I just I just revived you have to change, you know? I right just on. move in a positive direction. Can we love each other? We are Jamaican. Who are we a friend in you know, man? Yeah, man, around. We are brother and sister, yeah. yes, man. We are one of the most caring nations I can think of you know, about guess what? Guess what? Sometimes I wonder what you are out sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I'm poverty and that, 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 that you spawn, you know. Yeah, but we have to go around that. Yeah. Know? Well, I'll ask you a question now, Ron. See? Yeah. All right. Um, Ethan, what is going on now in this country right now? See? Yeah. All right. We are citizens of this country. Right? By birth. Yeah. Okay? All right. If some... If if a percentage of these people cannot afford it to pay uh, for the light, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the government should have something. Yeah, yeah some subsidy. Yeah, yeah, man, the government should have step in and do something. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Right. Uh, we have you to go to cash matter now. One, yeah, we the power one. You just realized that, me Dan. <laughs> the power yeah. one. But yeah, there, there could be something done, some form of subsidy and something to help the people. Cash what time upon us and Jagai there. Run, hold it down, hold it down. Well, it's almost five o'clock. Almost five o'clock. Well, five o'clock. Five o'clock. Everybody, 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 
ganja tourism, ganja tourism. I have a dream like Martin Luther, you know. I even have a bigger dream, as that. Yeah, and then a nightmare, me no a dream. I dream that to see a Negril. I dream to see a place like Negril. Just light up, you know. Herb free zone, you know what I say? No, no herb free. Herb. Herb safe zone, herb safe. Got free, no, no, herb safe. Got free, free money. Yeah, herb free. So, you know what I mean? People from all over the world, once you see from down, uh, where you call this, you know? Green Island, right place to put the body, you know? Green Island. Green Island, straight up to. Yeah, man, Green Herb. We're changing it to Green Herb Island, you know? Yeah, man, Green Ganja Island. So, Green Island, go through Negril, go round, circle around Orange Hill, right to. It's how that cut it off, you know? Right to Little London. Right to border Little London. I guess station there. So anywhere across there. So that's the name. Weed zone. You understand? Herb zone. Yeah. And government just smart up and say, here we are going now. This is what we're going to do, Mr. Speaker. From Green Island, sir. Circle all around to the grill, sir. Here, everyone say here. here, 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 here. Circle come around to Green Island, sir. Right at the crossroad at, 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 at um, Little London, sir. We're going to make that a uh, ganja zone, sir. So people can fly from all over the world. And when they reach that destination, they will see the ganja in every district, all in how anywhere they go. And, and no police. And if one police <coughs> thinks eh, I see him mother, me and Mama P touch a citizen of the island. Tourists from all over, come in. But everybody down there will have to have a license. Yeah. And Babylon gonna want 15 percent. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's negotiable. <laughs> Twelve and a half percent. So if you sell a hundred bag, you have to sell it for like a dollar twenty-five, like a hundred and twenty-five dollar. Right. right, you know, twenty-five for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have the certificate and put up in your shop. You understand? Know and you sell a little thing and you send you send for me come at all. I right. bring it down to the nearest tax office. Here, 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 here. Step in, raise yeah. up. Free top. Free top. Ganja tourism. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right, callers, come in. Uh, you know, say operator holding up on the rest of yeah, 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 Come yeah, in, yeah, callers. Because yeah, yeah. this is the key. Raise up. If you're a Rasta program, you know, step in raise up. Like a Rasta, you know, raise up. Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 Pick up to all the tourists here on the island enjoying Jamaica in the real way and having a good time. Welcome to Jamrock. Step in. Step in. Yes, sir. Step in. Yes, sir. Yes, Ruta. Greetings, you know. Greetings. Ruta there. Yeah, you know, Ruta yeah. is in Gambia yes, there with some man. Yes, man. First, I'm going to commend you for an IRF and you know, the wonderful work you are doing. I give thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, well, I, I, just, I just said to call on the, for the, um, the, the Kibali incursion there. Yeah. I do really think that the people at Jamaica should really get more, demand more, you know, for, for our security because the, these people who are, who are so-called leaders, they, are, they are, should, should be uh, responsible for what, uh, what are, uh, is happening to us. Yeah. And I think we should bring them up to justice, you know. So, yeah, it's, it, it's explanation. I say, yeah, man, because they, they are too much upon us, man, and we should really we are, we are two champions, young man. And it's time for us to stand up for our own justice. And we can't let those people be leading us now because we are the ones who are the leaders of ourselves. You know? So we stand up, we take up stand up for our justice, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, respect their opinion, and, man. And I just send a special big up to the people at Mount Pleasant, Portland, you know? Mount Pleasant. Yeah. Portland, yeah. All right. Portland, I'm calling from, you know? Yes, yeah, man. Coffee, Coffee, Crow, Pantan, Crow. 
Western, yeah, especially big up to them, you know? Yeah, man, and tell them, I read all the way, you know, true? Yeah, keep, keep the work, keep going, Ruta, Ruta, yes, Ruta, you know, you know, you yeah, know, like we have you, you know. Ruta, man, don't give thanks, man. You can't you know, keep the work still going on, yeah, Rastafari. Rastafari, right? we yeah. just love your people, everyone, you know, everyone. Yeah, man, everyone yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. man, yes. enough love. Yes, yes. I, I don't know yes, if you yes. hear about the story still, uh, people, about what are going on, because you know? right now, when we look at the world, what are going on, you know, it's the next thing we are going on in our world right now. We don't really know what are going on with the Muslim, them, you know. And Muslims supposed to be some nice people too, you know. We don't really know what go on extreme. With the, they call them Muslim extremists. Like someone take the Muslim thing from a whole different level. Not really the Pahala thing. Like, it, it, them, them, it's like them rewrite the Quran or something. Violence. So, me I said to myself, no, Rasta, Muslims not get the message. The ext- they not get the message of the world change and people are live life now. Man, I know time for the war thing and a bum up, bum up and a kill ourselves. They don't get the message yet. And even one woman now has been sentenced to death because she... She's Muslim and she got married to one Christian man. They must sentence her to death. The world passed them a stage a long time. Somebody can't send a message and say, Listen to my brother. Listen to man. Salam alaikum, man. We passed that bridging. Woman can't drive car. Girls not to go to school. Oh, the world passed that. Come on, man. Not even Nebuchadnezzar and the man never deal with them kind of foolishness, man. Where you not come from? The world's passed that, my brother, my sister. You know what I mean? Man on a farm group for, for, for kidnap and mash up schools. Take away all girls. Why they say they don't want the girls to learn no Western education? Well, this is school. I mean, they learn some of your education, man. You don't have to kidnap them. And they go on with the foolishness. Come on, man. Extremism not going to work, man. The world moves past that. Step in. It's 20 minutes past five, and this is a step in razor. And as you drive home, drive carefully, especially if it's a rain right now. Because Kara can't swim, you know. Yeah, so drive carefully and don't splash anyone. And uh, job bless you. You know, hope you had a nice day at work today. After the news and everything, you know, so DJ Wayne gonna come in. And when it's when DJ Wayne come, some nice tune till about ten. Then after that, a Ashile, that a whole different level. You go up and again, you, know, you find yourself all in your bed, just a wriggle and a jiggle up yourself and think you're a club and all thing. All right, step in. Don't wanna keep you holding too long. How you doing? Step in. Step. Step in. Okay. Yes, Ruta. Blessed love. Risk blessed love, man. Yes, man. Rather than my hands are your show, man. All right, I respect, man. Respect and thank you, man. It's not like Mr. Charles, the farmer. Ch- yeah, man, Mr. Charles Byron from Davidson, man. Let me know your voice, man. Yeah, the right, car, I know my brother, you know, just called me and said, boy, yeah, 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 Ruta. Yes, man, Ruta, man. Owen Brown, man. Original. Yes, when I listen to Ruta, man, I'm a friend him from Rats, that tear shop, they call me and say, what happened? You know, I call Ruta. Yeah. Cutty and them all them guys, you know. Cutty, tell you. They tune into you all the time, all right. Now, I load up at some school as there, you know. Yeah, yeah. R- yeah, man. I just met them. I, 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 I just spotted the bus a while ago. Yeah. But I just met them say something, but I don't really want to go through the radio. But, you know, because they listen to your man in time, you uh, know. We're going to see them up real fast, man. Charles, yeah, man. Yeah, he yeah. drives home school children every day. They're just a step in to me. Step in. Gospel raising. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step in. Step in. Yeah, that, yeah let, let me talk to one of them. Let me talk to one of them, Sir Charles. Yes, right. But the No, let me talk to one of them. Let me talk to one of them, school. Come on, 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 come Hello, Garfield Miller, you know? Garfield Miller? Yes. Yes, Garfield. So what's going on? One of the chefs, one of the chefs. Oh, so you're not, you're not going to school, Garfield? I cook Garfield? at the school, you know? Oh, you, you cook at the school? Right. Okay, what school, what school? Belfield High School. Belfield, Belfield. Belfield All right. High School. All right, uh, all right, all right, original cook. So you cook nice food and give children, don't you? Yes, man, yes, man. So, 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 so like when lunch, so like when lunch time come now and lunch time done and like have some 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 food left over and things. I fear that, don't you? <laughs> come on, we, we, we like give it to the students, you know. Well, student can come and get lunch. Yeah, man, you still have few who you can touch up. Right. All right, chef. So, what's your name, chef? Belfield High School, chef. Hold on, that's not. Don't tell me your name, chef. What's your name? Oh, Garfield, oh, Garfield Miller, yes, Garfield, Chef right. Garfield, big up man, right. Royal Flat Tire Shop, right. whole crew, I don't talk to one student, you know, student, student. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, how are you, how are you little sister, how are you? I'm okay. Yeah, and what school do you attend? Belfield High. Oh, you're going to high school, weird. And what's your name? Janelle. Janelle. 
So how life, how, how life, that's a nice name, Janelle. Everybody been knowing Janelle, a nice girl, may I tell you. I could go Thank on and you. on. Yeah, very nice people. So so tell me, so, so, so how school, Janelle? How life at school? It's okay. All right, what form are you in? Eh? Uh? What form are you in? Seven. Oh, first form, first form. So this is like your first year at Belfield? Yes, sir. So how the first year go on? How it, go on good? Yes, sir. So you have end of year exam coming up or it start already? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you, so you think you come first in your class? First year you come first? Janelle? You think yes, so? Sir. Yeah. So so you behave yourself, Janelle, you don't give your parents trouble or anything. No, no sir. Yeah, you wouldn't tell me. You wouldn't tell me, Janelle. You wouldn't tell me, not you? <laughs> yeah? So as a well behaved girl now, going to high school and you're live on the radio now and many other young girls coming from school listening to you now, Janelle. What would you say to them? Because you say you're a nice, well behaved girl, you know. What would you say to them, especially those who not behave themselves? What would you say to them, Janelle? <laughs> no, your phone kind of breaking up because you wanted to hear it. Say it again, Janelle. I'll, I'll say, be your best in school and put out your all. Put out your all. And have manners. You don't tell them to have manners too? Have manners and respect for the teachers. Right. And parents and elders, people in general, not you? Say? And people in general, just people, teachers, parents, people in general. Yes, sir. All right, Janelle. All right, Janelle, so I hope the girls will take your advice and behave themselves. And um, I wish you all the best. What would you like to be when you grow, Janelle? What are you thinking about later on in life? A, a doctor. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. All right. I mean, so me, if I get sick later on and they tell me that, uh, Mr. Mushet, um, um, Dr. Janelle will see you now. Yes, I will. I never see him, okay. Janelle. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, Janelle. So, yes, sir. All right. Eat your food, sir, Charles. And no, yeah, yeah, man. Yes, man. This is a I'm going to talk to you as long as me have one bus and never charge him because you know, and them cowards with Kubota and never charge him with Kyle. Why? No one can just come out and just clap and never because they're there because they're trying to come talk. Okay, so so what you say now? Because Janelle just was the <laughs> only one who brave enough to come talk on the radio. You will never charge her again throughout our high school life. Uh, God, you might say, nah, charge her again. <laughs> Janelle? Why have you Janelle? We know lucky there. It's 5.30 Jamaica time. This is Stepping Razor. Ruta in for Muta Baruka. Montego Bay, what's going on in Mobile, man? Ruta Baruka. Yes, sir. Lyrics like a bazooka. You. Respect, Mobile. Yeah, this one's on first degree to require, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah, man, I'm going to call the last Prince, you know? Oh, Prince, 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 with the shop of an Andrew over there. Yes, boy, the break shop, man. Yeah, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll big up all your wifey and thing, man, and big up the whole crew, man. Well, I'll big up again, you know, for the home, I'm going to relax, you know, you know? To call out her name, the man, because she... she big up, call me, big up, and say, I'm going to go out, you know, soon come, you know? All right, soon forward. All right, all right. yeah, man. Prince. All right, you ever see one situation, you say, man? Yeah. Where... One gunman got a place to shoot up some people, and he shoot up a man, he want one man, and he shoot up about six, seven people. Yeah, all the time. Hey, well, I just placed that, you know? Yeah, no. Well, we, 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 yeah, but you see the liar. We had on a liar today, Bert Samuels. And the liar. Yeah, and the liar said, basically, people them have a right. And they can... Yeah, and they can it, they can actually take JPS to court and if they get a lawyer, they, they, there's something there for them. They they have rights. And there was a breach of contract. But as usual, the man said, maybe they won't even follow it up. So, JPS will end up yeah, being again. But, but you see, you see, you see, you see, one of the things is, um, I wonder where they come from with that, really. They, or they really arrive at that, really, with full thinking. They call it with yeah. full thinking. Is that me I say? You know? I really wonder how they arrive at that, you know? If nobody so, could no, advise them and say, no, man. Really for the people, you know? Yeah, I mean, I wonder if nobody couldn't tell them, say, no, that no, that no make no sense. But what if they're not a corporate, corporate liar, but this guy is going to be a corporate liar. Yeah, well, uh, that means. Well, the first one does dick down those. Say, why, it's no good, and just, 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 just start it, you know? one of the things we should have demand our Prince from JPS is that we find out uh, who make that the decision, who come up with that. Would I like to know who, the person no, at yeah. JPS? No, well, I know, and I, I realize if it's just a one-man decision. Because, you know, something I discuss something, and people come on and people say, well, you want, that man said this, and next man said that, and you're coming to a consensus, and decide where you want. It can't be, I mean, I think it's a one-man. So, man. I don't do well in dumb, so that you want to do well in the well, and you want. Cut off everybody light because some people are teeth light. Yeah, some people have sugar, they eat like they keep on them fridge. 
Yeah, no, that's not good. You understand me? That wasn't good action. What the political people are doing? So we have to have some um, vent, have to use ventilation and you have to do certain things. Oh, how come? Yeah, Bert, Bert, I was the film, me can't do work for two days. For two days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that I reach you on your workshop, you know? You see it? All right. One thing I want to tell Jamaican people is that people have borrowed money and buy a car and something. Borrow one million dollars and start putting some solar panel out of it. Some solar panel. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Cut off how much million dollars I want to borrow. I want to borrow one million dollars from the bank. I'm borrowing the money. I invest it. Invest it. Invest in a solar turbine. I tell them. I tell them. I tell them, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. Prince, Yo, good dance, yeah. good work. And job bless you. Job, job right here, and big up wifey. What's your wife's name again? Carlene? Car- Carmen, Carmen. Carmen. Carmen Prince says soon forward, you know. He'll just uh, go and finish up some things on uh, the workshop. All right, all right. Well, people, uh, here we're going on, job people. You remember the other day, um, well, it's still going on right now, where this group of Muslim extremists um, fighting, they call themselves Boko Haram from down in Nigeria, that took over 300 girls. Few of them managed to escape. You know, with the leader, Boko Haram, are going with their things. Listen, man. You know, the latest we are going to Nigeria now. Well, they still haven't been able to locate the girls. And most of the girls that Boko Haram have there, this group of, you know, bad men gone with the girls. Them kidnap them, take them from a school one night, burn down their school. You know, like you'd have a school where girls board. So the girls were living at the school, you know, boarding. And bedtime almost, and then them bed, bad man just come and raid the school, shoot up the place, take out the girls, burn down the school. Well, the people... Of three villages in Nigeria, decides to listen you know, enough of this Boko Haram foolishness, you know. So some Boko Haram bad man, you know, roll into town. You ever hear the tune about with the big eye, you know, and he's the the man roll into town. I saw them roll into about three villages in Nigeria when yesterday, you know, said them I go mash up town now, you know, listen, you know, the people them decide to hold on. He said, bad man, have a little could pipe by a head and a bed for a win. Dig up that, you know. A 200 Boko Haram man dead yesterday, you know. The people them kill off 200 of them. Flat in a road. In a real life. In a real life in Nigeria, see that? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Confirmed by CNN. I know the man that check out the story before they confirm. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though you don't know, you still have to take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> but you don't know. The people, they mash them up, man. Bad, 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 bad. Three, one month has passed since the girls were kidnapped, and the people say enough is enough. So they hold some buck around, man, man. Buck, yeah. And they say here, when they kill more than 200 of them. Serious thing. Step in. Step in. Yes. And good morning, good night. Good Who's night, this? good Muta? morning, good night. Yeah, Ruta. Aruta. Ruta, Aruta. Ruta. All right, Ruta. I always call me like Muta. Me miss Muta, I know. Yeah, in the Africa. I Muta come back. Uh, well, may I work next week, next week again, and the other week, Ruta and there. Next week. Yeah. I did tell you that it's St. Thomas. St. Thomas. You ever hear Muta talk about her? All right, ma'am. You everything me ask Muta to do? It always come to, because right now we have a TV station. Wow, so Muta, he like Muta works on science, man. He looks so. He looks so. So, well, I don't me, me, me know, because Muta teach me a little science a while ago from Africa. He said, if you have a little salt, where can you get a little salt? Oh, yeah, no gunpowder. So, tell me what you want, oh, mommy. Let me try and see if I could have. No, man. I don't know what we are talking about now. Because we're talking to the TV station, but we want the road, the road, the road. All ah, right. Let me see, let me see how I'm going to work on the road field. We, yes. t- so, you want, you, you, tell me the area you want the road now, mommy. Come here. From Ellis Valley. To Yala Square. Enos Valley to Yala Square. Yes. Sammy, we have to get the gunpowder. And it is yes, Enos Peter. Valley to Yala Square. Yes, Mommy, may I tell you, say, I see it. I see it when I look in that crystal bottle. That road there, very yes. soon, man. Very, very soon, man. Very soon. Very soon, Mommy. All right. I will take care. I love you till I come. I love Muta. All right. I mean, love you too, Mommy. Right. I went. I want to get the good road link, you know. I think I catch up cool in my foot in that time, Muta style. Yeah, me catch up cool last week, mommy. So this week, me just come in on my clock. See you? Muta, Guinea and Ruta are wrong, man. Stop it. Guinea and Ruta are... Okay, right on that side. Yes. All right. All right. All right, mommy. Thank you, darling. Yes, bye-bye. All right, all right, all right. You hear what mommy say? Guinea hen and sappy foot. <laughs> Why mommy cramp up on your last week? 537 West Kingston, big up in this man. Yeah, man. Linval Thomas. West Kingston, man, you know. So you don't talk to West Kingston, and I, yeah, 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 West Kingston people. Trust me, man. I just, they just need opportunity, you know. Yeah. Asia, 
Africa as Linval Thomas, straight out of West Kingston, Jamaica. Hey, big up all the listeners of a foreign listening, IRFM.net right now. Respect, Ryan Mushet in for Muta Baruka. Don't be like DJ Wayne. DJ Wayne saying drop asleep about after, after one, so. And man, so when you wake up and hear me voice, the man has said, John, no. He means when you sleep and a man in already. You sleep for the whole day. No, man, I'm not Ryan Mushet. This is a router. The man, so when you look out and do a door bright, I said, I'm going to land. I said, fire, man, I'm gone. Then you hear me, I say, router. I said, oh. Team day and they work, man. Six o'clock. Here. What time you come About six thirty. Three. Step in. This is the final one. Step in. How are you? Yes. Saint Thomas. Respect, man. Right, right. I there. I look. I give you thanks, and I say respect, you know, man. <laughs> Rastafari is majesty. Well, I'm telling you, the JPS thing. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Just wait. Wait. The, the, the money can be, man. How oh, oh, can me run my business? See? Yeah. Me yeah. run my business. Me have to depend on the, the JPS current to deal with my business. And, and it me pay yeah. my bill at the end of the month, uh, whichever date due. And you have to tell me, you know, so because of people who are thief like now, me supposed to do it all like. Yeah, but uh, at least, at least they stop it, you know, then it, it, it starts for a few run, days. Run, let me know, let me run, know, run, know them, yeah. They would have to stop it to the run, because they said that cause problem in no, Jamaica. No, a serious you know. problem, man. They know. But me, I wonder which, who done a JPS so smart. Then, then, I'm a smart, they're smart, they're smart they're run. I fool them to prefer. 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 As when you say, them just, them just feel like somebody would have want to sue them or whatever. Uh, that, them man. just take with your bunch of idiots. Yeah, man. Yeah. And it can't work. So, we have to step up and make them know I go on. I invest in yeah. some solar, man. Get into some alternative energy, man. Move from, move move away from that now, man. Yeah, but as a reality, man, but you don't know the economy still. You know, yeah, and and the pay, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, we can yeah, make a month last September, come up again. And, yes, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes, and another yes, thing yes. I want to say to you. You see that lady that we call a while ago and say about Santa Mas. A reality, you know, man, man. But the road. That, uh, and I know that road is still saying I ran. Run me at 41 now, you know. And I did some of an angry, you know. Yeah, yeah. I sent them. You know. I saw it still. <laughs> so I know what she had to talk about, you know. Me know, man. Run, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you go up there, you wonder, say, wait, I want me there. I wonder if I saw River Mina or Lars, my lad. I know. It's have to fix, do you know? It's have to fix. Remember, me tell you. Here, it have to fix. All right, St. So Thomas. Them, yeah. St. Thomas, man. So that fix. All right, it's it a break up. And I, it, it's a break up on the last car. We're working on the St. Thomas, man. What's the high name? All right, St. Thomas gone. As a man say, my 41, you know, and he never said that the road is fixing you know. Listen to me, now, man. Me and my mother, we move, we live down a white house. They're down in a really close, down a white house. They're from about 19, from about 80, we're down. 79, 80, we're down. And from me, see that they look a road there, that the road there, white house housing scheme road, never fix it, you know? Never fix Sometimes I drive, go check my mother, I have to say, you know, so when I come down, I say, I go probably chat to one truck rasta. I drive my good, good care for them, my brother, man. But I love my mother more than I love it. It shocks them, you see me? You see I say, me? I go around there, you know. Yeah, I have people around there, you know, but it's a terrible thing, man. It's all Westmoreland, Jano. I don't know why they treat the people themselves. No road in Asta. I tell anybody who lives on the scheme down a White House, no me at all. Never fix yet. You know, some patrol down there, you have to park your car and look good and say, Jano. All right, I give thanks to you know, your people. Give thanks to His Majesty. Alice Selassie the first with your people, eh, man. It's been a good day, you know. Step in, razor, in for Muta Baru. I want to talk about the problem married already, you know. You're not know, real life. You're not know, real life. You're not know, probably be out of real life, but somebody took a word out of real life. We got back to Yeah, I hate you. 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 But anyway, but thank you, people, for listening, though. News is next on RFM. Big up World Cousin, as usual. My Virgin Chokey. And I stood there all day. I just mix from on be a big up tomorrow morning. We'll have you item on the radio and thing. But your people, stay out of trouble, have manners, love your parents, love ya, please. And you don't know. Tomorrow morning I run my shit, but right now, I hope you got the lyrics like a bazooka. It's five forty five.